I'm Sally Hahn. I'm the manager of cultural partnerships for the City of Toronto. But I started at the Fringe. And um, so I was uh, part of the very, very, very first Fringe Festival in uh, 1989. So this is me on the cover of Now Magazine for that first Fringe Festival. And at that first Fringe, I met seminal people in the community like John Kaplan, Harold Kandel, both of them have passed now, but also the, a huge generation of theater artists like Daniel Brooks, Daniel McIver, uh, Linda Prostoska was in my show. This is a play by David Demchuk. And this was my first uh, real foray into directing. Um, I had actually lived in London, England and been to the Edinburgh Festival twice. So when Gregory Nixon said, hey, you guys, let's do a fringe, we kind of all got together and, and had a festival. <laughs> and that was the very first one. And so Gregory Nixon brought us all together and we had our first Fringe Festival. This was before the lottery systems, before it was all organized. We just got it to off the ground uh, through his incredible dedication and entrepreneurship. So um, out of that festival, I think grew an entire generation of artists that really launched the whole next generation of the indie scene. Uh, we, were, we were coming out of um, the sort of Canadian building theater scenes from the 70s. Um, Theatre Pass Mirai and Nightwood and all of these established companies that had been started up and the Fringe really launched this next generation of artists that ended up you know having a huge impact both in Canada and around the world. So I'd like to nominate people to share the, these following people to sh uh, share their Fringe stories. Uh, Gregory Nixon who was the first producer of course, Nancy Webster now the general manager of Young People's Theatre who also was the general manager of the Fringe um, and Daniel McIver, if you can get him, a filmmaker, an actor, an artist extraordinaire. Daniel Brooks, who uh, did Augusta Company's first show, I believe, at the Fringe. Uh, Sky Gilbert, who I think was also part of that first Fringe Festival. So share your Fringe moments, guys.